To get started, you can go to the Synthwriters Wiki at wiki.synthwriters.com, that's with a Z, and go to the Create and Custom Stages tab on the left-hand side. Here you'll find more information on how to make stages and experiences, but first we just need the initial Unity Setup button here. This first link will get you the version of Unity Hub for your system, and here I chose the Windows version. Once the Hub is installed, you'll need to get version 2019.4.21 from the Unity Archive list, which is also linked from the wiki. Since we're looking for version 2019.4.21, go to the 2019.x tab and scroll down until you see 2019.4.21. Here I just click the Unity Hub button to download and install the version through the Hub. When it asks for which modules to install, you don't really need Visual Studio so you can uncheck that, but you should include the Android Build Support module here if you want to make Quest stages. Agree to the terms of the licenses and wait for it to fully download. Now that you have Unity version 2019.4.21 installed, you can use a template. Go back to the wiki for a link to the latest template on GitHub and download the latest release on the right hand side. This will download a zip archive onto your computer. Go ahead and unzip the archive into a folder and take this folder and move it into a place you'll remember. I made a folder in my documents called My Synthwriter Stages. Once it's copied in there, go ahead and make another copy and rename that folder to My First Synthwriter Stage. This means if I want to make another stage, I don't need to redownload the template. After that, go back to Unity Hub and go to the Projects tab. Click the Open button on the top right and navigate to the folder we just named My First Synthwriter Stage. When first opening a project, Unity will take a long time to import a lot of different assets, but it'll be a lot faster to open the next time. After you see the Unity window open, you'll need to open up the demo scene by going to the Project tab, double-clicking the Demo Scene folder, then double-clicking this icon here that's labeled Demo Scene. You should see stuff appear in the middle of the screen and a new list of items on the left-hand side of the screen. Go ahead and click on the word Custom Stage Info on the left-hand side of the screen. You should see on the right-hand side of the screen a section titled Custom Stage Info Script with fields for stage name and author and experience tag. Don't change these here. Instead, click the little right arrow that's to the right of the word Custom Stage Info on the left-hand side of the screen. The middle area of the screen should go blue and the list of things on the left-hand panel should go away, leaving the word Custom Stage Info. Here you can click on the word Custom Stage Info and again on the right hand side see the fields for stage name and author. Go ahead and change these to what you want. I'm going to call mine My First Synthwriter Stage and put my name in the author field. Leave the experience tag section blank for now. Once you're done with that, click the left arrow that's in the top left panel to get back to the main scene. Now we're ready to export the stage so we can test it out on our headset. You can click the Synthwriters button in the top menu bar and click Export Stage Bundle. The custom stage name field here doesn't have an effect of what's seen in game, but we'll name the stage file that's created. If building for spin mode, hit the checkbox here. If exporting for PC, hit the Export PC button, and similarly hit the Export Quest button if exporting to Quest. Depending on the complexity of your stage, Unity will take some time to build the file. When it's done, a file Explorer window will pop up for the export path, and a folder with the name you put in the form will show up. Go into that folder and you'll see a few files in here. You only need to copy over the .stage, .stagequest, .spinstage, or .spinstagequest file into your appropriate custom stages folder to test it out in-game. Once you're in-game, you can look for your stage by name in the list of stages and write a song in it. Now this video was just to explain the basic workflow to get a custom stage exported. To make the cool effects you see in other stages, you'll need to learn more about Unity as a game engine instead. Thankfully, there's a lot of info online on how to use Unity to make whatever effects you want, but keep in mind that Synthwriters uses Unity's default render pipeline and version 2019.4.21. Otherwise, there's more information on the wiki and there's dedicated channels on the official NZ Discord so you can ask for help and share your progress. Thanks for watching, and I'm excited to see what new stages and experiences you make.